previously on the Jacob Socialite Show. Okay, the best sex you've ever had was with who? What is your take on religion and life after death? My personal view, non-denominational. They are born-again Christian, but they are non-denominational. Right, because the person before you and the person before you said that it was correct thing to do? No, fuck that. Teacher says that I've been naughty, I must learn to concentrate. But the girls, they pull my hair, and with the boys, I can't relate. Daddy says I'm good for nothing, Mama says that it's from him. Manic sister thinks I'm cracking, brother says it's in my dreams. Yeah. Don't you want to? I always love wine and good company. What is the definition of love for you? The definition of love to me is bliss, like waking up. Seriously, I think when you're happy, you really don't need a lot of material things if you're really in love with the person. You don't need the material, you're just happy and you're, and you're uh, secure with yourself and the person will love you no matter how you feel and what you're going through. And you can feel the ugliest in the world and they can still look at you and tell you that you're beautiful. Lashes and poopy hair and all. And zits and hair. What do you think about me doing a new photo shoot? I'm going a couple. Thank you. Honestly, don't do it. You wouldn't want me to, even if it paid well. I'm proud of my body. I'm proud of your body. I mean, it's not like I'm getting that rim job on, like, camera or something. What's the definition of love? Happiness. Wouldn't happiness be happiness? You have to be happy to be in love. Are you in love? Yes. Yeah. So you're happy. Most of the time. That's it. Well, what's your definition of love? My definition of love? Um, I know it's kind of an out there question. That's one of the most honest answers I've heard. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't give you a couple words for sure. <laughs> you know, but... Um, what is love? You ever see Steal My Knife? I like movies with rape and incest. You know me, I love a good comedy. Wait, what is that? Okay. <laughs> I always feel right at home in a Halloween store. You think if I did a lot of drugs and I got somebody pregnant, the kid would have come out like this? You think so? I fucking love October nights. It's really cool asking people about their thoughts on love. It kind of puts people in perspective. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I honestly want this as like a, a real answer. What is your definition of love? Happiness. Happiness? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, have, you, have you ever liked somebody because you're like, oh, I miss them so much, but really it was because of the good sex, but it wasn't because of them? You're like, You've never yeah. missed anybody because of the sex. No. Actually, thank you. I missed the dick. Uh, you are a yeah. big dick. Oh, of course. No. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what is your definition of love? It's a feeling in your chest. Seriously? Yeah. Is this a feeling in your chest? Yeah. It's that crazy vibration. Like that. No, <laughs> that's what you get in your butthole, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> and feeling completely attached to each other. And like Johnny said, happiness. Like you had an actual chance to break them up and break them up. No, like, I've heard about Clifford cheating on him so many times and, like, it's not something you do whenever you play Monopoly. Fucking strange dick, that's something else. I would use that as an excuse sometimes. <laughs>